Hi, my name is Gabrielle Zimmerman, and I am the author of When Food Can Kill You. This book explores the intersections of food allergies and travel, food allergies and eating disorders, food allergies and school, food allergies and social situations, food allergies and nutrition, food allergies and business. I felt compelled to write my book because my whole life has been about food allergies and educating others about you know, how I need them to handle my allergies. It was really hard to navigate the types of foods that I could have, figuring out what I can eat, what I can't. It took about a year to finally be diagnosed with celiac disease and that ultimately changed my life forever. Four and a half years later, I was diagnosed with multiple food allergies. I want to educate people who may not know anything about food allergies and who come across someone that have them and want to know how to deal with them. One of the trends that I speak about is the health and wellness trend. I also talk about uh, being environmentally sustainable. I also talk about how these food and diet trends have ultimately affected the specialty food market, uh, changing people's mindset about how they view the foods that those with food allergies eat, as well as their perception of uh, specially made foods. One of the stories that I talk about in my book is about two brothers who travel alone by plane but are kicked off due to the eldest son's peanut allergy. The first leg of the flight ended up going fine. Uh, the father had spoken to Delta Airlines about uh, making sure that there were no peanuts on board served and that the airline was fully aware about the situation. The airline was very uh, respectful and said that they could accommodate their son by refraining to serve any peanuts to any of the passengers on the plane. Unfortunately, on the second leg of the flight, when the brother with the peanut allergy explained to the airline gate agents that he has a major peanut allergy and that if they could, you know, refrain from serving any peanuts on board. They refused to comply to his requests. They ended up being stuck in a foreign country without their parents, traveling alone for the first time, and having to go all the way back to Atlanta, Georgia, where they first started. You will love this book if you have food allergies or any other dietary restrictions, or if you're someone who has a loved one or knows of someone with food allergies. Hi, my name is Gabrielle Zimmerman, and I am the author of When Food Can Kill You.